Hello everybody and welcome to another installment of the uh, props department for uh, the Franz Joseph Enterprise. Uh, a lot of this stuff you've already seen if you're following the build on the website. Uh, again, this is just another look uh, at the uh, model assets from a 3D perspective rather than the stock 2D that you see on the website. Uh, the build is still moving forward it's been a little bit slow of late uh, that's just a matter of uh, life intruding uh, generally tends to happen every once in a while and, but uh, in the past couple of weeks it's been a little bit more than usual uh, had a death in the family uh, injury to my arm that kept me from doing anything uh, in, in modeling. Uh, still managed to keep myself moving forward by collecting uh, reference images and stuff like that. Um, you know, it may only be crawling, but it's still moving in the direction. Um, a lot of this stuff uh, is complete at this point. Uh, I've got about, uh, what, 45 assets or so in the scene file at at present getting ready to start another scene file here before too long um, most all of this stuff has uh, uh, essentially been not just completed but exported it's ready to be textured um, there are a couple of pieces in here that are incomplete and they'll be shifted over to the new scene file so that uh, once I get better reference images I can finish them out and get them uh, properly exported um, the direction that I've been taking here of late instead of just uh, uh, fanning through every image file that I have and uh, uh, organizing into directories I uh, basically just picked a central directory and been dumping everything into that uh, it's a lot faster uh, at this point to just grab an image build all the props that I see in the image and move on once those are completed uh, it's the tact that I took it leaves a couple of pieces here and there that are unfinished for bits uh, bits of time but uh, overall it's moving me forward a lot faster um, so that's that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much the assets as they exist now combined with the uh, uh, previous scene file uh, uh, kinda getting uh, an interest up right now into going in and doing uh, maybe some more specific work and building uh, sick beds and, and uh, gurneys and stuff like that for sick bay um, I I don't know if I'll do that it's just kind of an interest that's been nagging at me for the last couple of days so that may be something that I do to keep moving forward a um, lot of questions of late uh, and I, the majority of the questions that I keep coming across uh, from other people is are you planning on releasing the entire ship that I don't know um, at some point possibly but i um, trying to keep my options open so I haven't said too much or made any real promises as to uh, what I'm going to be able to do with the ship. Uh, the assets, uh, I've been asked many many times if the assets are going to be released separately uh, again. Uh, portions of the assets are going to be released uh, when the mod comes out um, but as to releasing all of them uh, in total, I just don't know. Uh, I'd like to leave my options open. We'll we'll see as time moves forward. Uh, the uh, the build is not yet complete. I really don't want to uh, shoot myself in the foot by making promises that I can't keep. So we'll just we'll wait and see what happens. But for the time being, uh, the answer is probably going to be no. Uh, that may change, but we'll see. Um, definitely a lot of this is going to get released in the mod. Um, maybe in forms that people aren't going to be expecting. Uh, a lot of uh, my own artwork uh, will probably pop up in it. Um, the assets that you see here are stock assets. 
Uh, there are going to be a lot of new assets that are going to be included simply because uh, essentially these come from the original uh, shooting sets. Uh, they didn't even have enough sets constructed to constitute a full deck of the ship overall. Uh, that said, I've got 24 decks worth of a ship to fill up and not enough assets to do it without uh, monotonous repetition. And I am not going to do that. So I've got definite themes to work from here. Uh, I'm going to create a lot of new original work uh, from uh, the thematics that I have available to me and what they provided in the original show. Uh, I've got uh, themes to follow that will provide continuity of the pieces uh, across the ship and uh, while allowing diversity. Uh, and the new pieces I will probably uh, I'll, I'll probably have some kind of a guide to show which were originals and which were new pieces because I, I don't want people to be mistaken as to who's, uh, uh, who, whose work was in the show and whose wasn't. Mine wasn't in the show and it does not deserve that level of stature. So uh, I, I may end up doing some really nice work, but I don't want anybody to... Uh, uh, getting the wrong idea about what they're looking at. Um, the uh, raw original assets will be handled one way, the new assets will be handled another just just to be sure that people are aware of the difference. Um, I like the integrity of uh, working somebody else's model and putting somebody else's model together. I don't like having to inject my own uh, say so into the model any more than I absolutely have to but this is one of those areas where I think it's going to be necessary in order to uh, uh, stave off the monotony of uh, just visual boredom. Um, the Enterprise I think is uh, something that has fascinated a lot of people and, and uh, uh, I, th I think too much repetition is a good way to try and kill that and uh, so that's that's what I want to try to avoid. Um, so uh, all that said, um, I will fall back to my normal uh, s standard for closing out a video and invite all of you who have an interest in modeling to definitely uh, take up that interest and uh, Go out, grab yourself a copy of Blender. It's a, a freebie off of the net uh, that you can get any number of places. It's a full-featured uh, uh, 3D authoring outfit that I, I personally I don't like the interface, but I like a lot of the things that Blender can do. I really like the their uh, approach to doing UVs. Um, it's come a long way over time and I've tinkered with it off and on uh, trying to keep an open mind about its interface. I got used to one interface and that's kind of a trap that we all end up falling into. You get used to something you don't like to change uh, too much and uh, that's the main problem that I, I tend to have with Blender. I got used to uh, uh, a particular application and I don't don't like switching much more than I absolutely have to but uh, still tinkering with it so um, it's a really good free application um, go out there and tinker with that get yourself started uh, there's lots of uh, free uh, training materials out there on the web buzz provides quite a bit 3dbuzz.com uh, it's amazing the amount of stuff, the volume of stuff that they have given away or uh, provided for free on their website. Uh, they they really do provide quality training materials. And uh, that said, I have to say I am not uh, not employed in any way with 3D Buzz. I don't have any affiliation to them in any way, shape, or form other than I just happen to be a, a, uh, a Joe Blow member of the forums over there and uh, a site member. Um, 
I don't make any money or get any money for referring anybody over to 3D Buzz, but I think so highly of them that I I have no problem uh, sending people their way. They're a really good outfit. They provide some excellent training materials, and uh, uh, I just if if you want to get started and you don't know uh, where to start. That's the first place that I would recommend anybody look. Go check out 3D Buzz, see what they've got to off offer. Uh, get your feet wet, get in and get get building something. Um, if you're just interested in following the build, uh, the primary thread for the build is at 3dbuzz.com. There is a link to it in my uh, YouTube uh, uh, channel. Uh, click the link take you straight over there uh, it's in the work in progress forums uh, section so uh, go have a look have a look at some of the other builds that are going on over there there's always something interesting happening over there uh, shouts out to the folks over at sci-fi meshes trek bbs uh, star trek dot com uh, okudagrams uh, folks over at daz 3d I'm aware of y'all over there uh, hats off to you. I've seen a lot of really nice work over there uh, in the Star Trek stuff. So uh, probably some other stuff uh, really good going on over there as well. But uh, r some really nice Trek props. Uh, so hats off to you. Uh, Till next time, have a really good one and uh, get to building something, guys. See ya.